Hey there, everyone. Gri and Ogar back again. Hello. And today we've got some more Varia gameplay for you. This is actually our last Varia gameplay video of the season one decks. Uh, today I'll be doing the <laughs> Cosmic Mage. <laughs> and that, that pause there, man. That pause there. <laughs> today I'll be doing the Cosmic Mage. Ogar will be doing the Dragon Knight. And I want to do a couple uh, yeah, <laughs> notes before uh, we start the gameplay here. I just want to give a huge shout out to the Varia t uh, dev team, um, Sean and Ant, for this gorgeous playmat they sent out to me. Um, this is, to my knowledge, is one of a kind. It's got my name in the corner, which you won't be able to see, but it's there. Uh, with my favorite artwork so far, Smite Evil and all the different uh, Moonlit Cleric art. And yeah, so huge shout out to them. Really appreciate it. Yeah, that is absolutely a gorgeous mat. And speaking of how awesome um, Sean and Ant are, um, Ant did this thing where he said, hey, we're going to have a game night in our Discord server, and in order to encourage people to come play, I'm going to put my Dragon Knight deck up for grabs. And if you're not very familiar with Varia, you may not know this, but anyone who has tried purchasing Varia decks will find out quickly, you can't get the Dragon Knight deck. That is the one deck that is out of print. Um, so for Ant to say, I'm going to put up a Dragon Knight deck was a big deal, and then add to it the fact that he was putting up his Dragon Knight deck with a bunch of rare, hard, or impossible to find promos in it, that was really enticing. So a lot of us signed up, wanted to play games against him, and he said, yeah, if you play a Season 1 deck against me playing my Dragon Knight deck and you beat me, you get the Dragon Knight deck. And I was able to defeat him while playing the Volcanic Warrior in a very close, extremely fun game. I had to do some insane turns in order to get there, but I was able to win, and um, he immediately shipped me the deck. Uh, he shipped it in a deck box um, where he actually like cut out some of the Dragon Knight stuff and taped it to uh, the sleeve box, the box that the sleeves came in. So it's kind of like this custom thing that he made with tape and cardboard. I don't know, it's weird. And he like wrote a note on it for me and like included all the cards. He included the... The promos, like he said he would, it's, um, it's really awesome. Um, so I've just been super, super stoked about having this deck. I've only played with it a couple of times, so I'm really excited to play this game with it as well. And um, again, just massive shout out to uh, Sean and Ant and the way that they have developed their community, the way they incentivize their community to get involved, and the way that they respond to the community when the community does get involved, have comments, questions, any of that kind of thing. Um, as you can tell, I mean, I, I noticed that, Gree, you didn't specify why. You put an enormous amount of work into building a deck builder for Varia um, for nothing. Like no, nobody gave you anything to do it. Nobody asked you to do it. You just said this would be a good tool for the community, and you built this entire thing while taking everyone's feedback. So that was amazing of you, and I love that Sean and Ant you know, made this one-of-a-kind playmat to kind of give you as a thank you for adding something so amazing amazing to the Varia community that I don't think any of the rest of us would have been able to do. Oh, well, I appreciate it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's great. They're great. I highly recommend you check out their discord in the description down below and let's get into the games. Absolutely. I suppose I should get my cards out. You know what we didn't do? Roll didn't for first. Going first. All right. You're going to have to beat a four. Ooh. Might be tough. Bad. Uh -huh, I got a 12. Look at that. Let's see if the All dice right. can keep rolling like that for me today. It is your choice. All right. All right. I am going to go first. One big thing with this deck is, and I think I'm just going to start right away, showing like kind of the one of the main mechanics of this deck. So I'm going to do, oh, we're going to start engaged. Yep. And for the first moment, I'm going to play Fevered Upstroke. And now this is an ability called Dragon Rage. When you play in this action, you may create an inner dragon token as a combo with this action. If you do, create a vulnerable token in the following moment as a replacement. So basically, what it means is, I, I, so I'm going to activate that Dragon Rage ability, put this inner dragon token on it to make this attack stronger, but what that's then going to do is, even if there was something in this second moment, this vulnerable token will come out 
and replace it. So that's vulnerable. It's the only thing that can be in that following moment. And that's basically a moment where, as the card applies, I will be vulnerable to attack. So then I am going to, for the third moment, plan my Great Lance Flam Barrage. And the great thing about this weapon is um, it's a 4-3, or excuse me, a 4-2 to start with, but end of moment, it's actually going to flip and become an 8-4 weapon. So it's, this is a very strong sword um, that will flip back and forth every time you play it. Yeah, that's the three moment turn that I want to perform, and I'll pass to you. Okay, all right. Let's start with a brace yourself in moment one, and then let's do in moment two, the cosmic edge. And then I will, in moment three, plan a reality ripple, which is a four zero block. And then when I plan the action, I create a token that's a copy of it in the next available moment. So that'll give me a second ripple there. And then I will pass to you for fast. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass. Okay. Uh, one question that I have for you, your attack in the second moment there, that's not physical, is it? It is magical. That is unfortunate. Yes. I have this physical armor here that could help me prevent some of that if it was physical, but it doesn't do anything to magical. But it's also pass. only when you're unopposed, and I'm not sure vulnerable counts for being unopposed. Vulnerable, vulnerable says actions targeting you this moment are treated as if they Great. were Great, yeah. Then, yeah, you would have totally got that if I hit you with a stick. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's... Unfortunately, it's magical, so it doesn't work. All right, uh, so starting in moment one, you're going to pay three resources... And a life. And I also have to pay one life, so I'll be down to 29 right away here. Yeah. And so again, like it does hurt. It does hurt to do this draconic stuff. Basically, Sir Aaron, who is the Dragon Knight, is exploding into a dragon. So I'm an 8-0. My focus is going to be 1. So you're definitely going to hit. Uh, yeah, my focus was 5. And or 7. Blocking with the power of 11. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I'm only at 10. For you. All right. I have braced oh, myself. No. Now my cosmic. You have successfully braced. That's this is not good. My cosmic edge is gonna come hit you. It's only a two-two. But I'm gonna hit you for a total of uh, three damage. All right. I'm already falling behind pretty quickly here. Excellent. And now we're gonna go into moment three. All right. Let's see if I can hit you here. A reality ripple is a base zero focus, so it's gonna be a total of three and a power of okay. seven. So I do have a focus of five. So you're gonna hit. And my power is 10. So I am taking three. So you are still ahead here, but at least I was able to make up for my lackluster moment one there. Um, then this great lance at the end of the moment, it is gonna flip and become the dragon's bane. Okay. And then the reality ripple wasn't in an active moment, so it's gonna push to be my moment one for next turn. So I have a zero four block as my first action. That's kind of whatever. So let's do, for my first moment, I'm going to plan, I'm gonna use my cosmic edge with spell fuse. So I'm gonna plan this action as a combo with another magical action, which will be resonance wave. And then if I do, I treat the two actions as a single action with a shared name, cost, rules, effect, focus, alignment, and type or types. Attacks and blocks can be combined. This is fortunately an attack. It is the resonance wave, a 3-3 three, three range. And if it is the result of two or more cards, it gets plus three, plus three until end of moment, uh, at the start of moment. And by the way, we're disengaged. This is absolutely insane. So you're just blocking moment one. Mm -hmm. While we're disengaged. And then you have this massive attack moment yeah, two. Yeah, it's currently going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, man, this is really difficult to respond to. Good. I am being a tricky wizard. Yeah, I think... All right, so what I'm going to do... So I'm going to do a ferocious charge in the first moment. Mm. Uh, it does have dragon rage, but I'm going to choose not to activate that because I don't want to be vulnerable yep. in the second moment. Then... I'm going to play this gorgeous promo dragon fighter in moment two. Oh my gosh, which it's will, so beautiful. It is. It really is gorgeous. Um, what that does then is it creates a copy. 
gets another token dragon fighter in the next moment. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I will kinda planned out everything. Um um I'm gonna pass fast. So I am going to unleash the dragon. Ooh. Another absolutely gorgeous promo. Um which is a uh, fast and it says end of moment disengage and gain five dragonborn and the dragonborn stacks are going to um let me put an inner dragon token on every action before i perform it i'm in danger this is gonna be really strong um i am still gonna pass and cry so, um, for this first moment, I'm spending six action points, and I'm losing two life, so I'm already at 24. Killing myself quicker than you can kill me. So let's see how much damage and I can prevent. So I think I could technically roll a four, and you roll a one, you can't hit, which I did, so I have a four focus. Um, my focus is four. Ah, so you hit, and my power is seven. My power is nine, so I am able to get a couple points Taking through. Two. And then, um, so end of moment, I will disengage. Yep. Then I will get five stacks of dragon. Into the second moment, before I perform this, um, so I'll use my four. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, that will put me at 23 and use the remainder of my action points. Yep. And I'm using the rest um, of mine as well. But then. Yeah. Dragonborn is again going to cause us to engage. Yep. Even though I have ranged here. Yeah. And I have as well. Okay, so I right, have see. a total base of eight. Eight, which doesn't really matter. So let's see what I'm going to do. Eight plus seven. So I'm coming at you for oh, 15. No. Eight, 12. I'm taking three. Yikes! That's, I mean, I got damage in, but even still, that's... Okay. Then, I have two end-of-moment triggers. I have... We'll do the Dragonborn end-of-moment first, mm -hmm. where I deal... We're still engaged yep. when it triggers, so I'll deal 1d4 damage to you. Yep. Ah, uh, one. Whew. I was hoping for a four there. I'll take it. Then, the other end-of-moment trigger is that we actually disengage. Okay. And I lose... Um, a dragonborn. All right. All right. And that'll so be then, you. this dragon fire becomes the moment one of my new turn. We are disengaged. Um, we are though. disengaged, but this is going to engage us. Then I'm actually going to do a dragon's bane in moment two. One cool thing about dragon's bane, it is an A4. Um, it says that I'm I would be healed for half the damage dealt by it as long as my target is a dragon or performed a draconic action. So in a mirror match, this, <laughs> you'd be healing quite a bit from that. Thankfully, we're not in a mirror match. Obviously, that's not, not the case here. You don't. I, I'm assuming you don't have any draconic actions. Uh, let me check. I'm checking. I don't. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, we do start disengaged, but I'll be engaging and disengaging nonstop this turn. Well, that's not bad. Uh, and then I will pass. My moment one. Oh, I'm one short. Ugh. Can I get some chi real quick? I really need some chi. Yeah. I told you, I had Stone or Druid would probably be really good against this deck. Yeah, it probably would be. All right, moment one. I will plan a Force Blister, but just a 3-0 fast block. And then moment two. I'm going to plan a mirrored edge. Then I will pass to you for fast. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put an aura of devastation on the dragon fire. That another. is one action point, one life, another gorgeous. Yeah, just amazing. Honestly, I don't know why I'm not playing this on my Dragon Knight playmat. Because <laughs> it's, this, it's this art. It is this why art. Why aren't you? Okay. Come on, man. I know, because I'm dumb, I'm a dumb dumb. Got anything else? Uh, for I, I just was gonna see if you had anything before I get too crazy. I do. 
in my second moment, I'm going to plan a cosmic denial. And what does that do? It is a fast, three cost. Start of moment, disrupt your target's action if it's magical. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm going to... Uh, does it have any power or nope. focus? That's all it does. Okay. It is fast, though. Put an inner dragon on my dragon fire. Ooh, that is going to hurt. Wow, that's going to be huge. And attack. then... Yeah, I'm passing. Uh, and then I'll put a Night Pyre Veil on there. Or Interesting, so you're going to push out your other moment. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm still... Huh. If you're going to push out your moment, I'm going to push out mine. No! I'm going to plan an Amber Barrier in moment one. It's just a 1-1. One, one. But it's going to mean I can't pay for the Mirrored Edge. And no! Then I will pass back to you. This is unfortunate. Okay, uh, I got All nothing right. else. What do you got? All right. All right, I don't have anything additional. When we go to perform mm -hmm. the action, Dragonborn will put another inner dragon on here. Yep. So you're going to end we'll up paying engage. how much life? Uh, I'm going to pay... I don't know why you have to say it like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pay three life here. Um, also, a start of moment, I perform uh, an aggression check. Yep. And since you cannot win, your action is impaired. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to have this and this. So I'll have whatever the worst rolls are on here. I'm starting out as a one focus. Oh, I just double crit on my focus. Yeah, I rolled... Well, I mean, I triple crit on the focus, so my worst focus is a 4-3. So my focus is 8, which I assume you're significantly higher than that. I'm at 8 plus 8, so 16. And then my... Oops, that's a 1. I have a uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 power. Uh, so my power is... Yeah, so 12 plus 5, so 17. So I'm going to take 9. Then I do have some end of moment triggers. Yep. Um, we're gonna go through them here. Um, first end of moment trigger will be Aura of Devastation, where I do one. Well, Aura of Devastation and Dragonfire both have deal one d four damage to everyone engaged with you. Yep. So we'll do those. Does that count yourself? I am not engaged with you. Okay. I had to ask. Oh, I got four and two. That's six. Okay. Yep. And then. Um, I can combine Aura of Devastation with my next... Oh, you know what? But you're going to disrupt it, yes. so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, and then technically, I disengage and lose uh, Dragonborn. Okay. Um, then a second moment, both for both of us. Can't we'll pay push. for it. Yep. Um, I think I still... Wait, I tried to go up to five instead of down to three. Um, I think I still... We engage, and then I disengage and lose the Dragonborn. Okay. In that moment where we didn't have anything. And then we'll draw up over to me. Um, well, this is seven. We will be, I guess we'll be engaged because otherwise um, I can't hit you. Uh, then I think I just do the one moment turn here and just hope. Yeah, that's, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could kind of do like a forget thing, but. I think I'm just... I'm, I have six life. The safest thing I'm going to do here is just pass to you. This isn't great for me, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, we neither of us can really do anything in the regular planning. Are you doing any fast? Uh, if you're passing your normal, um, I yeah. will pass my fast. So I am going to forget this no. for a back step. Ooh. Is that just start a moment disengage? Uh, yeah, fast, start a moment, disengage. The unfortunate thing is I'm still going to lose a life mm. because an inner dragon is going to drop on there, do nothing, Dude. and dig me for one life. All right. Well, in that case, yeah, there's not a whole lot I think I want to do in response to that. Is the inner rage magical or physical? Uh, it's uh, physical. Okay. Or wait, wait, what? Is what? Wait, what? Whatever you're going to oh, combine it with. The, uh, Dragon? Yeah. That's magical. Oh, so I'm going to disrupt your uh, action still. Oh, you are going to disrupt it. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Interesting. That's really unfortunate. Um, do I want to capitalize? I currently am only 3-3. Three, three. So, 
Yeah, no, no, I think I'm still just dealing. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. I have something I could do, but I'd rather not. All right, uh, I'm passing fast again. All right, well, I'll pass fast. Cool. Um, okay, so before perform, I pay one action point and one life point to 16. Got him, that makes seven. And then start of moment. Uh, that's not an attack target to me, so I can't copy it, but I am going to disrupt your action because it is magical. Yeah, that's not great. And then I'm just gonna- And that's not physical, is it? Oh. It is not. All right. I um, don't have to roll focus here, I'm just gonna. So it's currently three plus one, so only four damage. I will go to 12. Yep. And, and then we will disengage and I will um, lose the Dragonborn. And that will be you. So I'm gonna plan my Dragon's Bane, try to finally get to attack with this thing, if you'll be so kind as to allow me to. Hmm. Um, Are we engaged or disengaged? Well, I guess we'll engage either way. Um, yeah, we're gonna engage start a moment anyway. All right. So yeah, we'll stay disengaged and we'll engage. So in the second moment, I'm then going to Iron Rose, which is an 8-4. How much does it cost? Six. Huh. Okay, well, I feel like I'm dying. So I'm going to... All right, I'm going to Cosmic Strike, which will Skill Fuse with Slip Fire. And then... Oh. Three, seven. That'll be six at least. So I might not die. And then I'm gonna pass to you for fast. So I'm really unsure. Listen, I'm probably gonna die here. Is that a risk you're not willing to take? I'll just pass on my fast actions. Okay, I will uh, do a fast uh, lightning conduit, which will put this up to a 10 point action, three dice and six power. So hopefully I don't die here. And I'll pass back to you. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna die. So at the start here, I'm gonna get uh, the inner dragon. Yep. Will engage. Life. I'll lose a life. We'll engage. What is it? Eleven to what? Uh, I'm currently a six power. But I'll have three dice. No. What's your life total? Oh, six. All right. So I have twelve plus one d six. I have six so. plus three d six. I mean, I got. 18. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, so... Take one. I, I take one. Then we disengage and I lose my last stack of Dragonborn. Who? And then in moment and now, two, we'll disengage. Or we disengage. we are already disengaged, uh, I'm not able to hit you there. This does nothing, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, oh, also, end of the first moment, this flips back. That's a scary weapon. It'll be your turn. Okay. Let's see. How do I how do I not die here? How do I not die? Um, alright. I will keep us disengaged. And I'm gonna plan in moment one a cosmic strike spell fused with slip fire again. And then I will pass it to you. This is a very difficult position that I find myself in. You still can technically block. It'll just only prevent the damage as opposed to uh, stop me from hitting altogether. Yeah, which we're just going to play Aaron's Folly in that moment. It's a 4-4 four, four for five action points. Start a moment, engage. If your target is a dragon or is performing draconic action, this gets four, plus four, plus four, um, which obviously doesn't, but it's about as best I can do in this moment to try not to die. Okay. Um, well, I don't have any fast to follow up, so I'll pass fast to you. All right, so I'll just roll the d6 and see how much damage I'm taking here. Okay. This four plus one d6 doesn't do much against six plus two d6. And I rolled a one. Perfect. So I have six plus five. So I have a total of 11. So I'm, I'm preventing five, so I'll take six. Yep. I'll go to four. This is not great. Let's see what I can draw here. And that's, if I can do something good. This is a tight race. 
So I'm gonna be disengaged. Yep. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna be engaged. Okay. So I'm gonna plan a dragon fire, which will create a second dragon fire in moment two. Mm -hmm. And then in the third moment, I am gonna play a fevered upstroke and activate dragon range, which will create an inner dragon token there and a vulnerable token here. Oh boy, this is looking bad, to be honest. I had a sweet line I could do, but it's not going to work. Um, let's see. I have a good play or I have a risky play? The question is, which one do I want to do? You know what? You only Varia once, so I'm going to plan a Cosmic Strike. <laughs> And I'm gonna spell fuse it with an arcane bolt to give me a five power two dice attack on the first moment. And then I will, if I somehow don't die or kill you, I'm gonna plan a sublimate in moment two and bast you. A second dragon fire, no, on the first dragon fire to get her an action point back at the end of that moment. Ooh, that is brutal. Yep, nothing I can do about that. Uh, pass and fast. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pass. This is fast. Though. All right, yeah. I'll pass, I'll pass fast as well. All right. And then at the end of the moment, I'll regain one. Yeah, which is hopefully there's not an ended moment. So I'm going to be at five. Uh, and you are currently at four. I got to eight. <sighs> I got to nine. I will take the one. Yep. And then you're going to regain an action point. Yes. Oh, and we're engaged. Yes. So I'm going to deal 1d4 of damage to you. Yep. At the end of the moment. Yep. Which is one. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm still dead in moment uh, three. Oh, no, uh, you still so can't. Moment two. You still can't pay for moment. Oh, no, you can pay for moment three. Okay. Yeah. Because so, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm yep. paying four here so i still have the three yep so i'm a four four my focus uh, so i can't i yeah, can't seven here yeah i have four focus but um yeah i, I do get to deal one before of damage yep which will be a four <sighs> i literally just get exploded in this last moment and then this last moment i lose one life i go down to two yep and then i'm coming in for a seven five Plus? So, plus one! <laughs> <laughs> I will take eight and go to zero. Oh, man. So it seemed for a little bit there like that was, like, okay. So it went from seeming like I was really far ahead to you then kind of taking a lead mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to then me squeaking it out at Yeah, the that last moment, if I wanted to really try to plan the uh the cosmic strike with something else and just see if i could poke through uh otherwise like i had a stasis in hand but i wasn't like it cost six and all of my other cards were threes so i wasn't able to do more than one thing with stasis honestly i don't know if i could pull that off again <laughs> that was a this is a very fun deck i will say this is a really fun deck it's really hard you'll notice i didn't use the sword very much and it's just because like Four action points for the four two. When you also have to do a draconic action before it in order to get it to flip for it to be good, it it feels like there's a lot of cost to doing that. Obviously, the payoff is there. Yeah, the payoff is uh, ginormous. Yeah, yeah. And those dragonborn tokens, they did me a lot of damage, but yeah, and I think that's what kept me in the game. Good. Still, was the uh, the ability like you self damaging yourself means I could have sque like squeaked in that little last damage every now and again. Yeah, I mean, I did a pretty significant amount of damage to myself through that game. Yeah, and I definitely, I ended the game without the Forgotten Scroll uh, used up, so I, I might have been able to sneak that in somewhere else to hopefully do something, but 
That was the way it played out. But yeah, like like we said at the end of the video, this is the end of the season one decks. Um, the Dragon Knight was actually released between seasons, so we figured we'd, we'd cap the end of this with a, a battle against that. And next time we're going to be starting off with some season two lists. I hope you'll stick around and enjoy that. So thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.